Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new website that I designed. Whenever I design a website, I try to have a really high definition logo, easy to read navigation items, as well as a call to action. Then I always try to make sure that the phone number is easy to read at the top and that it's linked and as well as the email so people can reach out. A big recommendation I have is that when you have high definition images, make sure that they are 1920 by 1080 resolution and then compress them using tinypng.com. The first section I always have is an about section that tells the people who log onto the website what the website's about. And then the next section I always have are the services right here. These are the six services that this company offers. Another section that I like adding is a meet the team or the doctors. And here is an awesome little animation that I created for each of the doctors. Then if you like, you can have a little testimonial section that's run on a carousel at the bottom. And then you can have a little footer section right here. The footer section just has basic information, the logo, a little brief navigation here, hours of operation, and another way to contact them if needed. If you're showcasing a specific service like the one that I'm doing right now, I like doing a zigzag approach where the text is on the left, image on the right, and then I reverse it by having the image on the left and then the text on the right, and I do that same exact order. The reason I do this is because it keeps the material interesting and engaging and doesn't bore you when you scroll down the page. At the bottom of each of the services, I always have a little call to action here for clients because I feel like it's a really great way to get people to be engaged. A simple rule of thumb for making any website is that you always want the material to be aligned with the page that you're showing and you want it to be as easy to use as possible. Think about how other people are gonna be using your website and is it easy to use? Is it easy to navigate? Are the elements or the text on the page you know, proper? Do you need it? Is there too much information? These are things to think about. If you enjoyed today's video about this website review, especially of the one that I built of the speech pathology office, let me know down in the comments. Follow me for more. Peace.